Hello, and welcome to Earthsayers Radio. I'm here today interviewing Barry Height of Sustainability Action Media. He has just returned from a trip to Ecuador where he was interviewing the indigenous voices of sustainability, our wisdom keepers. He asked them about their work around protecting the rights of Mother Earth and preserving the indigenous lands, not just for them, but for all of humanity and for the next generations. Now that you're back here in Portland, Barry, do you want to recap how your trip to Ecuador went? To reflect back upon this experience, I did hook up with uh, Pachamama's uh, Journeys director, David Tucker, who introduced me to some uh, very uh, knowledgeable people as to what's happening in Ecuador. And what's happening in Ecuador is happening really everywhere on the planet, our beautiful planet. It's a challenge between earth resources, exploitation, and sustainable management of resources and alternative uh, directions that we know are available throughout the planet. So very insightful. I I did get a chance to get back to the rainforest and interview some uh, community members from the Atuar district. This is the southeastern aspect of Ecuador, if you're looking at it from a bird's eye view, uh, the Pastaza uh, district. And what they want to do in Ecuador is open that pristine Amazon up to the same type of resource uh, extraction as they're doing in northern Ecuador. And so the indigenous are finding this unacceptable. There's huge division in the country, and it is growing. Who exactly were you able to interview, and what were some of the impressions you got from these community leaders? I had the good fortune of interviewing two of the community leaders of the Achuar territory a wonderful individual by the name of Domingo Pease, and another very wonderful individual named Hilario Sant. These two uh, leaders gave me the time and insight into their perspective as to the importance of the Global Alliance for the Rights of Nature, and they did give a call out to action for all of us to look very carefully into the direction that we're going right now and giving nature rights. I was there Fortunately uh, for me, during the re-election of their supposed sustainability leader, Rafael Correa, who has been re-elected, and uh, who, from my perspective and many others, has hidden agendas. On one hand, he speaks sustainable development. On the other hand, he speaks uh, exploit uh, of of the resources, exploitation of those resources, uh, which the Chinese are um, these negotiations. As I understand it, One of the core issues in Ecuador right now centers around clean water. Do you want to address that? Very good question, Ruthann. Yes, clean water is absolutely the most significant issue we can face, uh, we can explore, we can look at today, the World Water Day. Now, the, the water quality in the exploited areas of northern Ecuador have water problems that are unbelievable. Uh, visually portrayed in Screams from the Amazon, a video that you can search for on Earthsayers. Watch this video and understand that the same exploitation and extraction of resources is planned for this pristine southeastern Pistaza district, the Achuar area, the area that I visited uh, and visited these wonderful community leaders. These people, these indigenous people, now are being asked to move from their land or allow this extraction to happen. And they know good and well what will be happening if they do allow it. So they're standing up for the Mother Earth. So um, a woman by the name of Patricia says it very clearly, uh, a woman from the Kichwa district, which is in this same Achua territory. Patricia of the Kiwa community addresses sustainability by asking a direct question. Do we destroy the Amazon in favor of making easy money? I think this is a question that we need to keep at the forefront of our consciousness and, as advocated by our wisdom keepers, move to take action and support organizations such as the Pachamama Alliance. And it's not just about supporting the indigenous peoples of Ecuador, because quite frankly, we are in the period where the last of non-renewable energy resources are all located in the territories of indigenous peoples around the world. And as Eric Gonzalez of Earth Peoples United points out, 
We are all in the same boat.